Yes, sir. Here comes Fresh Air with another one. This one's a little more serious. I don't know who this is prophetic message is for, but I've been kind of taking my little lead around the internet, kind of just taking it easy. You know, giving a break for some. For some. Ooh, it's been one. We all have to understand that we go through things in life that make us act a certain way. We come across a certain way, or some days we come off too condescending or too overconfident. People can't take your energy. Your energy is so loud that they just want to run away. They can't even hit that subscribe button, or they can't even hit that like button, or they can't even leave a comment. You know what I'm saying? See me, I hide by perfection. You just be your genuine self. You don't have nothing to worry about. You get what I'm saying? But in today's world, unfortunately, that's just not how it goes. Because things happen every day. That's right, things happen every day. We're given a test every day, darn near. And nobody made an instruction manual for this. You know what I mean? Nobody made an instruction manual for life. Like how I'm supposed to treat a female, how I'm supposed to treat a friend, how I'm supposed to treat my spouse if I have one, how I'm supposed to treat my spiritual leaders, my guidance, my tarot readers, my preachers, my... You know what I'm saying? Whoever's giving information out on the internet, how am I supposed to respond? Because some days I'm going to respond with, I'm hurt, I'm sad, I got too much of this, overwhelming. Sometimes you gotta just take it back. Take a step back. Take a, a glimpse, glimpse of your future. You know what I'm saying? You take that opportunity and find the fundamentals that make you whatever you want it takes to get to it. And be grounded with yourself. You know, we take options by staying grounded with ourselves. We take it for expressing ourselves through the rhythms and the movements of our voice. We take that opportunity to be creative with ourselves. We understand we got a responsibility, right? Sometimes we overdo it, sometimes we don't do enough. Sometimes we're silent. But we accept the situation as it is, rather than fighting it to change it. You get what I'm saying? Some things just don't have to change. You just leave it how it is. You don't have to change everything about your life. This is fresh air. I'm a true scholar, a chosen one, a star seed, an earth angel. God has blessed me with the opportunity to speak to you with clarity and understanding, with discernment that no weapon should ever prosper and work against you. That I will help guide you out of your shadows and your sorrow. Give you something to think about. I'm trying to help you. I want to be that leader for you. I want to be that motivation every day. You stand up, you wake up and be like, I want to know what Fresh said today. I want some more of that. That's the kind of life I want to live. Music is essential to healing and well-being. Rather singing, playing an instrument, it is also listening. Listening to others too. See, I'm a musician artist too. I, 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 I write my own music, I'm a vocal artist, I record on multiple different platforms. I'm an up-and-coming musician with a goal to be the best I could be. I try to improve my craft every day. I try to stay always practicing it, always trying to learn something new, always trying to be that forefront of the trends. You know what I'm saying? Trendsetter? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that's me. We take the time to listen compassionately to those we love, especially your family and friends close to you. You know what I'm saying? We make that opportunity happen where every day might be even even better. Now you gotta remember, we can't have so much social media sometimes. You know what I'm saying? We can't be on it all the time, trust me. It's not good for you. A couple hours here and there, but if it's starting to take you down a, you know, place where you can't handle the emotions, then, because things are triggering.
starts hearing, seeing, you know, little shorts about your ex or a girlfriend that, re or a girl or a female that looks like your ex, you know what I'm saying? Because you're feeling a certain way. You want to just, you want to get involved. And it's like, I don't want to feel all those emotions. When somebody's crying on there, feeling bad, it hurts me because I want to take those tears away from you. I want to make you feel better in a good way, not a selfish way. I also feel those emotions, so sometimes that's hard for me to watch or see. But see, the thing is, is a lot of times we're struggled, we're, we're swallowed up in our own struggles so much that we need somebody else's misery to help us forget about us because we feel ours is worse than what they're going through or just compliments what we're going through. See what I'm saying? It's kind of like a cycle. We just, we're so used to feeling not good. It just became a natural part of life. And we got to move forward in life. We got to do that new beginning. Now is the time. Deep emotional healing. Deep emotional healing right now. Seriously. It's real talk, man. This is fresh air. The eagle of the night. The eagle of the eye. I'm the conqueror. Connoisseur. Yeah. To this situation, we will step back and see the bigger picture before it's making a decision or taking an action. Sometimes step back for a moment. Take a moment to understand what you're going through. If you're going through emotions or you're setting out emotions, remember, we do things because we're kind of conditioned, right? So if we're doing sexual things or we're loving about something, we're kind of conditioned. We're feeling a certain way. We're trying to mask it. Sometimes when we gave it up, we give it up, we're gonna just give it all up out of spite, out of revenge. And we do things that sometimes we regret. You know what I'm saying? So sometimes you just gotta understand that love is love. You can't just put yourself out there, you know, sometimes. I know there's a better way, but you know, I'm trying to help you. Here we are. Take time to rest and recuperate. Make sure you're getting a better rest. You know what I'm saying? Try to get better rest before a day that you might have schoolwork or test or, you know what I'm saying? You might be going on a trip over the weekend. You might be going on a retreat over the weekend. You might, you know what I mean? You might travel. Take time to rest. You know? You're continuing. You're striving. You're striving for your best self. Day in and day out, you continue to try. I mean, I want to love you, but at the same time, I don't want people to think, oh, he's just a weirdo. I'm not. I'm a guru. I am a master of this. I have a lot of experience in therapy. I, I forgot to tell you say that. I've had years and years of therapy. Years. You guys want more detail? Oh, well, I'm probably going to be getting into that here pretty soon. But see, that's the thing. I don't like triggering people. Sometimes my past is in my past. But what I can do is actually help people. I'm more equipped to help people understand that we don't need to dwell on the action or behavior that happened. We can start helping and conditioning ourselves to look at it differently and see it. Not avoid it, but see it for what it is. And there we go. You know, you take that moment to trust that you have the best resources to get you through the challenges in your life. You know, get you through those challenges in your life. I mean, every day we're going to be hit with something. Now, hear me out. I know we have to have a certain dosage of TikTok or whatever. I understand the addictive behavior. I understand the addictiveness um, to it. I understand. I totally understand. I was there in 2018. I, to be honest with you, if I, if I wasn't, if I wasn't a part of the the musically switch from Supergrand to musically, then I don't know. I mean, musically actually wouldn't even be the way it is. It would have been a whole other another app actually. There was 15 apps at the time when we were doing this big switch over because there was a security issue. And because uh, you know, I got I had 1.5 million followers at the time working with top, uh, top creators at that time. We were OGs, we were the, we were the, we were the mold setters. You know what I'm saying? We were the ones that created 
more than just what you see today. We got that creative uh, uh, skits, we got creative uh, actors, creative musicians, all sorts of things. You face your problems head on with the confidence, with the confidence, courage that you can get through it. And take that time that you will emerge to victorious. Because God is good, love, right? God is love. God will love you. And I'll love you. And I'll give you that love all the time. You hear it in my voice. I'll go to sleep with you. I'll wake up with you. You can put me on your alarm for all I can see. I will be your waking and night. I will be that cat whispering in your ear. It's the time that strike out for our own relinquish, our overwhelming capacity for each other. Let me love you. Let me be that one. You don't have to tell nobody. Just let me be your teacher, your lover, your, 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 your friend, your best friend, your, your brother, your dad, your stepdad, your whatever you want me to be. Just let me be that for you. Make sense? I know it sounds crazy, but not everybody can do this. <coughs> I got plenty of material to do my, uh, my, my, my journey. I'm here to help you. Um, there's no games. I'm not going to be trying to drag people down to as far as hell. Anything you're going to talk about some pretty seriously triggering stuff here and there. And I, I, if you're interested in learning um, solutions, then before just getting triggered, because I'm gonna have a trigger, another trigger track here pretty soon. Um, going to talk, talk about sexuality, you know, and uh, how I first came about it when I was a younger. So then you can understand what I'm going through. I'm not trying to get you all, you know, worked up and stuff, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm gonna help you understand that. We all have traps out there, and you have to understand what's out there. You have to understand there's a gameplay out there to get you. You know, try to get in between there. You know, the same thing you've been shaking. Yeah, they're trying to get to that. So be careful. I'm your guidance. I'm your love. I'm your respect. I'm not trying to get in some middle of anything. You do what you have to do to be safe. God is love. God is respect. God will take you through every every situation as long as you, if you use your discernment, you will have a better life. I will love you with the respect of being that person for you to get you to where you need to be. Even if it's just for a moment in time where you, you heal or you feel that love or you even get into it with me. There's whatever, whatever you, your plan is, God is love. I respect you. Have a wonderful day. I hope you take heed to what I have to say. And hit that subscribe, hit the like. Come back for more every day. I'm going to be dropping my voice on here to help guide you. I will give you some pointers. I will go for advanced. I got advanced classes coming here pretty soon too. Like I said, we're going to be talking. I got to, I got to release some, some old sexual demons. So this one's going to be. It's going to be uh, triggering for sure because it's going to be kind of deep. So, I'll look in. With the lights off. <laughs> Alright, God bless. Have a good one. Love you.